Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace and salutations, as always, to the elect. And I wanted to do a uh, short response to this video. I'm not finished watching it. Uh, uploaded by the Elder Apostle Gabar. Daily Edification 4. All right. The title of the video is GMS Declaring the End versus Paul Kersey for GMS, which is an individual who used to scoff. All right. But now of late, he's been um, leaving somewhat positive comments. But I'll say this. All right. Um, any of you out here who think you're going to be taken serious by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, but you're hiding behind a fake profile, hiding your identity, okay, uh, being weird. Hey, the Heavenly Father's going to deal with you, man. And for years, you know, these particular individuals have always hid behind particular profiles, but at the same time, they're trying to get us, all right, to uh, take it easy on the Israelite group known as IUIC, all right, who still in 2022, they're teaching our people throughout the four corners of the earth to call on Jesus Christ and that we don't know the name of the Most High God, Yahweh, even after he himself, through his angel, told Moses that the name that was given unto him at that time was his name forever, all right, which is the name that was called on by our forefathers going all the way back to Adam, okay, which was passed down through Abel, who was slew, and then eventually Seth, and then Enos. At the time of Enos, the scriptures say, then began men to call on the name of the Lord. As a matter of fact, okay, let's, let's go to that scripture here in Genesis, the uh, fourth chapter, and that's not a light thing. All right. And here it is. You have particular Israelites who call on that name. They come onto the comment board and scoff us. All right. But they won't do a video getting on these guys for that wicked, blatant heresy. That is going to get a lot of Israelites killed, along with the fact that. OK, we see that the MOTB Haragma is here and they still want to be stiff necked about what the truth of that breakdown is in Revelation, the 13th chapter which is going to get a lot of our people killed, okay, if they take it. So if you really cared about Israel, you'd be warning them against this technology, okay, and, 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 and um, ultimately you'd be with us, but because you have a wicked, evil heart, and ultimately um, you want to do the work of the Lord in vain, you want to justify these blatant atrocities and uh, rebellious doctrines that we don't know the name of our father. We're not Hebrew Israelites. We're just Israelites. Okay. So that you can get away from the Hebrew language. So whatever deal these particular camps took, all right, the, the heavenly father is going to make reckoning of it. Okay. And we're going to get the scriptures to prove that dealing with the name. This is our forefather, Seth. All right. After Abel was slew, Adam had a son named Seth. Now it says in Genesis 4 and 26, and to Seth, to him there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. Okay. When you look up that name of the Lord, it's Yahweh. Okay. Which that's how Adam received the understanding of the commandments the name of the Lord and everything else. It was through divine intervention. It was through the Holy Spirit. All right. The breath of life was breathed into him. And when you read Ezekiel 37 chapter, the breath of life would be breathed. Okay. into the elect remnant in the latter days. All right. And the names and our true instruction and who we are will be given unto us through divine intervention. Through the Holy Spirit. This ain't something we got to go to the library to find. It was given to us through the Holy Spirit. Now, when you look up this word, Yahweh, first of all, to call upon the name. What was going on at the time? 
of uh, Seth and Enos. What were they doing? To call is kara. It says to call out, to recite, to read, to cry out, to proclaim. They were proclaiming the name of Yahweh even back then, which is a clear part of our, our legacy. You see? To summon. We're, we're, we're trying to summon our power to send this son. Invite, call. Okay? We're calling on a particular name. To call unto, cry for help, call with the name of God. So the name of the Most High has always been tied to our forefathers and us. All right. And Elijah, the prophet's ministry turned the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to the fathers. So the things they knew, including the name, are now being made manifest and known unto us. OK. And what name did they call on? OK. The very same name that we're getting ready to show you that Moses was given. OK. And that Hebrew name is Yahweh, all right, which is a name the leader of IUIC used to call on blatantly. Now he's of the opinion that we can't know the name. And that's okay. That's just something to sweep under the rug. No, out of love, we're telling you, no, look, you, you, you got to get it right. Yahweh, the existing one, he exists, the only power that has this name. And his only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shai, all right, which was given unto him by the angel. Now, what is the what is the the, the, the language of the heavens? Hebrew. When Yahweh Shai came on the scene, he said it said he said his name in the Hebrew tongue to Paul. You see? So he had a Hebrew name. Okay? Which we know in the Hebrew, Hawashai is Savior. Okay? Yahawashai is he is the Savior. These are simple things that we are teaching our people and that, 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 that it doesn't take anything extra deep to, to, to break down. OK, the, the main two lyrics of the new song is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. OK. So to teach our people that we're not Hebrew and try to ex Hebrew out of the whole ordeal, because when you when you deal with Hebrew, it comes from this. uh it takes us back to this brother here, which is one of our forefathers named Eber. OK, now at the time of the Tower of Babel. OK, when the languages were confounded, there was a particular family line. OK, who were like unto a remnant who through their faithfulness and dedication to the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, The descendants of Shem. Now, what does Shem mean? Name. All right, renown. These are the generations of Shem. Shem is who? The son of Noah. Through these generations, which came out of Adam through Seth, eventually became Noah, who had Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Shem was the chosen, and Shem had Arphaxad. Now, the name Shem literally means name, showing you that the name, the legacy, the calling on the name, and everything. All right, that we would need would be passed down through this seed, through this uh, uh, seed line. Sham, we're going to click it. The name Sham means name. Okay, on a deeper note. Okay, it's reputation, fame, glory, and our power has a reputation. It's a very powerful reputation that we should reverence. OK, so here it is. These particular men want you to call them by their name. But then when it comes to the heavenly father, he's just God. When it comes to his son, we're going to call him Jesus Christ. As Israelites. Hebrew Israelites. And yes, we are Hebrew. Now, Hebrew. Comes from one of the descendants of Shem. OK. That ultimately stuck to the traditions. OK, Eber, let's go to this name, Eber. Genesis 11 and 14, this is after, the, you know, you know, pretty much this is uh, uh, the family line that would eventually lead to Abraham. Now, when you go to the term Eber. OK, 
It's Ibar, the region beyond. Okay? Let's go here. Region beyond, side, ultimately the name, the legacy, and everything that will be tied to the chosen people, okay, survive through this particular lineage, okay, through these men who were upstanding, as the scriptures say, give me one second here, let's get that in the book of, uh, in the book of Sirach, all right, excuse me, my uh, computer is running a little slow, as a matter of fact, give me one second here, let's go here, Sirach 49 and 16. Shem and Seth were great in honor among men, and so was Adam above every living thing in creation. Okay? So eventually, by the time of the, 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 uh, the uh, you know, the Tower of Babel, the descendants of Adam through Seth, all right, stuck to the traditions and didn't help build the Tower of Babel. So when the languages were confounded, the Hebrew language wasn't confounded itself, okay? But different dialects of Hebrew, all right, came so that the people couldn't really understand each other. These particular camps, all right, in particular, IUIC is teaching you that the Hebrew language was confounded and there is no way that we can know the pure name of the Most High God that was called on back then, which is utter BS. So that name, Eber, or Ibar is where we get the term Hebrew. Okay? Now, when you type in the, the, the you see it was Ibar. All right, we just saw that, right? Let's just type in Hebrew. Okay? As a word search. Now, this is Abram, all right, before he was called Abraham. And how was he reckoned? Genesis 14 and 13, and there came one that had escaped and told Abram, the Hebrew, Abram, the Hebrew, all right, why did it uh, 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 put that detail in there? Because he's of that lineage, okay? Let's go to the, the term Hebrew. <laughs> Chime. I bar, I bar ya. What's the root word, all right? I bar, it's the same thing, a designation of the patriarchs and the Israelites. So if you want to do away with Hebrew, the Hebrew language, the term Hebrew, you got paid off. You see, the Hebrew language is still here in the planet Earth. It's just that, let's get second Edras 6. Okay, give me one second here. Second Edras 6 and 28. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. Okay, as this devil has blasphemed the name of the Most High, his tabernacle, and the angels. He's lied on everything. But those lies wouldn't hold up. Because at the end, the elect would be raised up and teach the truth of the matter. And the truth starts with the name of the Most High God, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai, man. Malak Tazadak, all right? As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome and the truth which hath been so long without fruit shall be declared. So the truth never died. The truth was never taken out of the earth. It was just without fruit. We were divorced, but the heavenly father has returned the Holy Spirit. OK, the Rachakwadash, the breath of life unto his chosen people. And the scriptures tell you when we were in his in, in our captivity, we would think on his name. So to take away the name and to act like nothing should be said or we're going too far because it's mentioned is utter BS, man. That's crazy. What will we do, okay, in, 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 in our captivity as he sent us prophets? And they shall, Baruch 2 and 32, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. Think upon my name. How are we going to think upon a name if we don't know it? See, these, these dudes think they're talking to a bunch of dummies. 
And only a dummy would allow somebody to tell them some BS like that. I'm going to just keep it simple. Think upon my name. Okay? Which the name is a part of our legacy. Furthermore, here in the book of Exodus 3 and 15, as the Heavenly Father is reintroducing himself, okay, to that chosen lineage that came out of Abraham, the Hebrew, Isaac, who was a Hebrew, and Jacob. See, Hebrew is the legacy. Okay, Israelites is our nation. Okay, there's a legacy tied to this particular nation. We are Hebrew Israelites. If anybody tries to tell you otherwise, they are wicked and they were paid off. All right. And ultimately, the Heavenly Father is going to destroy them. This is no light manner. And here it is. You got particular people who call on those names who will get mad for us when we correct them on that. Because they just got a problem with GMS. So to hell with all of you niggas, man. Exodus 3 and 15. What did the angel tell Moses, the representative of the most? What did he say? And God said, moreover unto Moses, thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, Yahweh, the same name. Matter of fact, let's click on it. The same name <laughs> that Adam passed down. Is the same name that Moses receives. And they want to go through all of these precepts to try to. No, 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 no. It's there. It's the same name. Yahweh. When we click the name Yahweh. When's the first time it pops up? Genesis 2. Okay. Okay. And keep and from that point on. That's the name of the Lord in the Bible. Yahweh. And that's the same name men called on. At the time of Enos here in Genesis 4 and 26. See? The same God that flooded the earth. Okay? The same God that Noah, all right, offered up, uh, uh, built an altar and offered up a sacrifice to after he got off the boat. Okay? It's the same name. And what did he tell him? God said, moreover, unto Moses, thus shall thou say unto the children of Israel, Yahweh, your God, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob have sent me unto you. This is my name forever. And this is my memorial unto all generations. See, now there was a point where Abram, Abraham wasn't well acquainted with that name. OK, but he was reawakened just like us. And he called on the name. As a matter of fact, Abram. Let's just, let's just look it up. Even before his name was changed. Genesis 13 and 4. And unto, uh, unto the place of the altar which he had made there at the first, there Abram called on the name of Yahweh. So don't miss me with the, uh, going to that scripture in Exodus. All right. Where. It's where it talks about how uh, Abram wasn't well acquainted with that name. He didn't know him by that name because there was a falling away. Abram's father raised him as an idol worshiper, just as we were raised as idol worshipers. But guess what? The Lord returned his true name and our true legacy unto us, just as he did with Abraham, as he was in an uncircumcised state and as we were in an uncircumcised state. OK. OK. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob have sent me unto you. This is my name forever. Let's look up the, the term forever. Okay. This is my name, Shum. <laughs> this is my Shum. Okay. Forever. I will um. Long duration, futurity, okay, forever, everlasting, evermore, perpetual, old. See, and that's what the Hebrew means. Hebrew means from the past, ancient. See, continuous existence, perpetual. 
okay? Eternity. So the name of the existing one will never change, okay? <laughs> All right? And we have scriptures breaking down because the English language can be used to ensnare you. They use the English language and use the word new, okay, and stuff like that, which they're off. We're reading right here. This will never change. His name is Yahweh forever, to the blessings, the power, and everything that comes with it, then that, that's on you, okay? Me and my house, all right, we're going to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right, and for all you monkeys out there, all right, who who uh, come to the defense and aid of these particular guys just because you got a problem with GMS, the the, the uh, you're going to have the answer to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I thought you believed on the names, but you'll never go to these dudes' pages and see a video getting at these guys for that. I'm talking about these men are going throughout the four corners of the earth, getting on airplanes to teach the name of Jesus Christ to the chosen people of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, and what, what, what does the scripture say about that? <laughs> Psalms 44 and 20. If we have forgotten the name of our God, because, see... <laughs> This guy in this video, Paul Kersey, whoever he may be, what a weirdo that you just hide behind a damn profile for years. And it's always got, I mean, from 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 the time I first came in till now, there's always been these particular profiles linked to IUIC, pleading the cause for IUIC, arguing art points for IUIC, but you never know who they are. Okay, and but it came out through particular people who left that church that they have a, a, a sect a division within their church that is set up to go on to comment boards man and the heavenly father sees you anyway okay that's weird okay but then on the com on this comment board you know th th this guy is making a, the, the point well maybe that's just their portion all right well you gotta you know uh, uh, be patient with them well no it's, it's it, the, the leader of that camp is on camera calling on those names you see that going all the way in. So guess what? Psalms 44 and 20. If we have forgotten the name of our God or stretch out our hand to a strange God. Shall not God search this out? <laughs> For he knoweth the secrets of the mind. See, the most high knows. See, it's never really been made clear why at one point uh, uh, Bishop Nathaniel was calling on a name, teaching the name, going hard in the name. And then all of a sudden it's, it changed to we don't know the name. And call on Jesus Christ. The, the Most High is going to search that out. But there's representatives of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua on the earth that are going to warn before the judgment comes. And you sitting up there pleading these dudes' calls and this and that. You're, you're quoting Paul. Paul was given the true name of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai himself came to the earth, <laughs> right, and visited Paul and said his name in what? The Hebrew tongue. Let's get that. So you are openly forgetting the name of our God and stretching out your hand to Jesus Christ. And remember, y'all had to burn the Jesus Christ challenge. Well, let's go to Deuteronomy. The 12th chapter. You see, to y'all, this is redundant, it's played. This is not no this is no small thing. When you when you when you take down these guys because they had to burn the Jesus challenge. So they will burn in pictures of white Jesus, right? You're also supposed to burn the name. Deuteronomy 12 and 3. And ye shall overthrow their altars and break their pillars and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods and destroy the, their names out of that place. You're supposed to destroy the names. The people are the temple. The people who were inhabiting the Holy Land before we went to take it where heathen they had the names of their gods there the scriptures say destroy those names destroy those names make not mention of the names of other gods and when you look up that word mention because that's a law because they talk about the law the law the law well, the law mentions the name the law tells you not to take the name of the lord in vain the law tells you not to make mention of the names of other gods meaning Mention means what? Set up a memorial. All right. Meaning you're bringing them a uh, uh, remembrance to the people of Israel. It's not that you can't say them. 
All right. But 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 you you're offering up incense to those gods. You're teaching Israel coming out of the Christian church to call on the God of Christianity. See. And here it is, this dude, Paul Kersey, is telling us we should try to talk to them. Don't you know we've walked up to IUIC uh, 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 plenty of times to try to deal with this topic of the name? And we were called pedophiles, told to get out of here, screamed over and talked over. So miss us with that garbage. And who, who are you? It's a damn shame, you big grown ass Israelite men. Still walking around the planet Earth making fake profiles, man, and talking and dealing with men on the comment for years. The Lord's gonna destroy you niggas, man. Okay, and the Lord is setting it up. You know, the, the, the brothers are patient with you, you know, apostles and elders, but it, it, <laughs> you just wait until the Lord deals with your ass. He ain't gonna be so kind. You change your name to Paul Kersey for GMS. What, 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 who are you people, man? Like the apostle said, there is no shortcuts in the gospel. The goal is perfection. And you, you taking away the name and then teaching our people they ain't got to worry about the, the MOTB, man. You crazy. You are, you're a threat. You're a wolf. You're supposed to destroy the names. That's the law. And you brought those names into the, the 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 doctrine and ministry now you got israelites waking up all around the planet earth calling on some damn jesus christ then you get sick then the leader of the school gets sick and comes back calling on the name with gal calling on the name of yahweh with gal talking shit talking about his haters this is true love right here man so the most high is going to search this out. All of the secrets of what y'all got going on. Okay. You forgot the name of the Lord. He's going to remember that. Okay. Let's go back here. Let's get the book. Of Psalms 45 and 17. And you didn't give them warning. <laughs> all right. So the, the, the worldly accomplishments and the, you know, the, the praises of men and all of this you've received is getting ready to come to naught. Okay. And you got your little minions on a comment, but hey, man, the Heavenly Father is getting ready to work a wonder and show who he was dealing with, man. Psalms 45 and 17, I will make thy name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore, shall the people praise thee forever and ever. Psalms 135 and 13, thy name, O Yahweh, endureth forever and thy memorial, O Yahweh, throughout all generations. That's all we need to know. What else needs to be said after this? Are not we a generation of Israelites? The remnant is a generation of Israelites that have waken up. OK, and, and, and the scripture said the remnant will be calling on that very same name. Let's prove it. Isaiah 44 and, and three. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. Remember, we were dry bones. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring, which are a generation and they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. One shall say, I am Yahweh's. What's that name? The same name that was called on by Enos, which was passed down from Adam through his father, Seth. OK, and it's the same name Moses received. It's the same name we got now, man. The, the name of the supreme God amongst the Hebrews. And you got these wicked niggas want to tell you we ain't Hebrews and try to throw Hebrew out. But we supposed to just sit back. And yeah, you do ignore them. All right. But man, yeah, I just got moved through the Holy Spirit to do this video, man. But then you look on the video. And it's niggas who call on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, learned it from men, scoffing. Black, dark, chocolate monkeys, man. 
weak, weird niggas, man. There's, there's women with, with, with more, uh, greater spirits than you men. You dudes are, are, are weak, man. <laughs> if any of this is a big deal, you just going to ignore it? <laughs> a guy is telling Israel, we don't know the name of the, of the Lord. After years of calling on it, and then we, it's just swept under the rug. Then you figure out stuff to argue with us. We in the new covenant, nigga. You gonna die? All right, bro. And why you niggas keep following us around? Get a life. Do the work, jerk. So a lot of you talking about we don't have to go out on the highways and the byways no more, man. <laughs> the Lord put deep a deep uh, sleep in a bunch of demons on a lot of you guys, man. Psalms sixteen and four. Their sorrow shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer. Okay. Taking communion. Okay. To the name of Jesus Christ. You ain't no different than the church. All right. Now, if you want to you know, uh, uh, have bread and wine in the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai, Okay. It's nothing wrong with that. But you all are doing it in the name of Jesus Christ. Which is basically you're offering up incense to that God. And it's basically it's just a, 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 a white Jesus with a tan and a perm. With a Hebrew Israelite twist. Well, well Israelite twist because y'all Hebrews, uh, we don't have to call ourselves Hebrew. We ain't Hebrew. And that's really a doctrine. And here it is. Nobody is saying nothing. Don't you know in the law? Let's get that. Let's get the law. Since everybody had the law, the law, the law. Leave us Exodus or maybe Leviticus. Yep. <laughs> Leviticus 5 and 1. If a soul sin a sin and hear the voice of swearing and is a, and, and a, and is a witness, whether he have seen or known it, if he do not utter it, then he shall bear his iniquity. Let's NLT that thing. If ye are called to testify about something you have seen or that you know about, it is sinful to refuse to testify and you will be punished for your sin. So the fact that, okay, these individuals who are constantly coming at us, arguing and mad, ain't saying nothing to this guy, all right, and these camps for teaching this wayward stuff, when the emo, I mean, the harakma is here. Okay. Yeah, we'll go into this on the news and prophecy. You see that title? You ain't gonna say nothing. And he's openly swore by the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai before. We saw the video. Anyway, let's end it off here, man. Psalm 16 and 4. Their sorrow shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. Okay. NLT troubles multiply for those who chase after other gods. I will not take part in the sacrifices of in their sacrifices of blood or even speak the names of their gods. Okay. So you've been warned. And when you, if we're going to keep this mind in us, which Yahawashai had, okay, when he came to Paul, Acts 26 and 14, and, w and when we were fallen to the earth, because Paul was knocked off the horse, I heard a voice speaking unto me, saying in the Hebrew tongue, see, the pure Hebrew, you think the son of the most high, <laughs> Yahweh Shai, uh, the, ain't going to know the pure Hebrew, ain't going to say his name as, as it was given unto him from the heavens. That name came from an angel. An angel gave that name to Yahweh Shai before he was born. 
Okay. <laughs> it is hard for thee to kick. Uh, he says, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And I said, who art thou? He said, I am Yahweh Shai. Now it says Jesus. But the, the question is, is Jesus a Hebrew word? It's a Greek term. Okay, it's, it's, it's a Greek translated transliteration of Joshua. The the if you wanted to say uh, Joshua in the Hebrew, because when you go, let's go to Acts seven real quick. Let's just type in Jesus, right? Real quick, let's go to Acts the seventh chapter. I could have just went. Give me one second here. Oh boy. Acts the seventh chapter. Give me one second while this loads. Yeah, all the, the anger is aimed at us. You know, meanwhile, these guys can just say anything and it, it's all good. But, hey, that's what comes with the territory. Um, let's see here. This is Acts 7 and 45. And 44 says, our fathers had the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness as he had appointed, speaking unto Moses that he should make it according to the fashion that he seen, which our fathers that came after brought in with Jesus into the possession of the Gentiles, which was the Holy Land. Now, who led us into the Holy Land? Joshua and Caleb. It says Jesus. Right. But that that that, that that's talking about Joshua. OK, let's look at this term, Jesus. Jesus. All right. Jehovah is salvation. Now, that's a Greek term. We're Hebrew. All right. Now, when you go to the of Hebrew origin. OK, still going to be off, but it's Yahweh Shawai, which is wrong. OK, the, the true understanding is right here. Yahweh Shai, which is what he is salvation. Yahweh Shai. That's the true name right there okay now let's go to Hosea to show you what that means so Joshua was translated to Jesus in the Greek as well so that gives you a way of knowing the true name of the Messiah let's go to Hosea what does Hosea mean Lock you, son of came to the Lord. Hosea Ha Wa Shai Ha Wa Shai. What does that mean? Salvation. Okay. Now, before we went into uh, the, when we went to spy out the land, okay, let's go to uh, when. Joshua's name was changed to Yahweh Shai. Okay. In the book of, let's see, let's go to Numbers. Fourteen. Twelve spies is what I'm looking for. I think it's numbers thirteen. Give me one second here. Spies view the land. There you go. All right. Now of the tribe of Ephraim, Oshea, the son of Nun, which this was Joshua. Okay? 
of the tribe of Ephraim, all right, because you had Caleb, who was Judah, and then you had Joshua, who was Ephraim, symbolic of, you know, Judah and Ephraim, all right, the ones who made it, okay? Oshea is what? ha wa shai If you add a Yah to that, as Moses did when he changed Joshua's name, because he was the one that was going to lead us into, okay, the uh, promised land, Numbers 13 and 16, these are the names of the men which Moses sent out to spy the land, and Moses called Oshea, or Hawashai, the son of Nun, Yah Hawashai, the J-E is Yah, which is he. So the, 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 the conclusion we come to is that his name was Yahweh Shai, which is the name of our Lord and Savior. All right. Now, they're not the same person in the reincarnation, but they have the same name. His name was uh, uh, turned into Yahweh Shai as he was a figurehead, an example of what, you know, Yahweh Shai is actually going to do when we get brought into the, the promised land. All right. But the name. All right. All right. Uh, Hawashai, all right, Yahawashai, you had that, that's the name. And that was the name given to Yahawashai before he was even conceived in the womb. Let's get that. Luke 22 and 21, and when the eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called, all right, we can say Joshua, but what is that in the Hebrew? Yahawashai, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. So an angel was going to come and say his name was Jesus. Huh? Yep, and it was told that to Mary, all right, before she conceived, okay, that she would name this child Yahweh Shai. So you niggas are in trouble, man. If you don't repent, all right, but the pride, all right, is too far gone, man. So that's that. I just wanted to speak through the Holy Spirit on, on the matter. Shalom.